once again it's your tech guide my name is Chen and welcome to my channel okay in this video I'm going to teach you how to MIDI map using your QLab so I'll be controlling the cues in QLab using my MIDI hardware called APC mini so previously I made a video on this on how to map but the thing is it's just a straightforward tutorial on how to step-by-step -step procedure in MIDI mapping but the thing is they've been asking why I did not uh, explain more about the velocity and then why the value is only 127 okay so stay tuned in this video is I will discuss everything and as much as possible I'll be uh, explaining it the simplest way all right so if ever you have comment please uh, do comment down the comment section and then if you ever if ever you would like to add something uh, this video is very open for everyone so whatever comments you have please drop down in the comment section and by the way the uh, for you guys who is new to this channel and who have not checked out the previous video that I made well I'll be posting also down in the description the link so that you will relate what we are talking about uh, that regards with the velocity which is 127 in the first video that I made okay so so let's do this let's proceed so first I'm going to load songs in my QLab okay so basically I'll be putting song only one song and then I'll create a stop Q button also all right so stay tuned as I'll uh, select song what I'll be posting here in my, or adding here in my Q list All right, maybe we use this track. Okay, so I will be creating a stop cue. All right, and then my actual song, I'll drag and drop it here in the stop cue. All right, so let's do this. Uh, a quick review, I'll be creating a trigger using my MIDI again. So I'll plug my camera so that you can check out uh, what's happening here in my hardware. All right, I hope you can see clearly my uh, hardware. Okay, once again, it's APC Mini, all right? So basically, I'll be uh, creating this first MIDI, okay? This MIDI cell, I'll be um, mapping this to uh, this song, the first cue or the play, okay? And then this button, I'll be queuing it here in the stop, okay? So this will be my stop, this will be my play. All right, so let's do this. Make sure you highlight first your uh, track that you would like to configure. So once you highlight the track, these options will pop up. Okay, go to triggers. All right, and then once you are in triggers, make sure to check this MIDI trigger. Okay, MIDI note, I'll leave it as it is, and then press capture. Okay, once you press ready capture, it will say waiting for MIDI. That means that your software is on standby and waiting for any MIDI note that you are going to use, okay? So check out as I press this button. Okay, there you have it. Note number 56 with a velocity of 127, okay? Now, I will explain to you why in the previous video, I did not change anything from the velocity, which is 127, okay? All right, so the reason for that is this hardware, even if I push it soft or hard, it will just generate a 127 velocity. That means this part of the uh, MIDI, all right, I, I hope you can see this. All right, this part of the MIDI, all this button, it only provides up to 127 velocity okay so that means uh, no matter how soft or hard you press your button during capture it will be exactly the same all right so let's try this one I will close this all right and then I will uh, let's recapture again okay and then I'll do it soft okay I'll press this button soft all right and then check out direct your attention here in the value of velocity all right I'll do the capture 
now it's waiting for MIDI I'll do it again I'll press soft see look at the uh, value all right so that you can see clearly I will erase everything all right I will remove the values okay all right and then let's recapture okay I'll press soft all right see still the same it's note 56 with a velocity of 127 okay and I hope that explains with the question in the QLAP um, group and down the comment uh, they're asking why I did not change this one okay so for the sake of this tutorial okay to have a clear uh, understanding um, on what I mean so let's try to change the value let's say 1 120 okay 120 and then let's press the play all right see nothing happens in my software Kula. that means when I press this one it did not reach the velocity that is required which is 127 so it won't trigger the note that means it cannot play this I cannot play this track okay all right so you have to make sure it's only 127 and don't worry there is other options if ever uh, you would like to change this one I'll be teaching you later the uh, other way or other options but the thing is for this for the sake of this tutorial this MIDI is only 127 I repeat and then by the way any hardware or different hardwares uh, maybe have different personalities let's say for example the uh, machine MK3 all right it's um, different because it's uh, sensitive in its button so it have a velocity range from zero up to 127 so that means if I press it uh, soft it will uh, generate a soft velocity or lower velocity based on how soft or hard you hit the note okay so later my objective is I'll be using this fader and then I'll be explaining about more velocity since this clearly have different velocities with a range of 0 up to 125 which is 0 is down here and then full is 125 so don't skip uh, this video and then just stay tuned as I will uh, continue all right so now this track which is which is a stop I will make it I will cue it here first okay hold on MIDI trigger okay capture okay capturing okay okay mind you here velocity is still 127 all right so no need to change because as I mentioned earlier this is a fixed velocity 127 all right so let's check first I'll play the song and then I will stop so that we will know that the software is receiving MIDI commands from this hardware okay let's try to play now I press stop okay that means it's already capturing my MIDI uh, commands from this hardware okay so now the objective is I'll do uh, a remapping or I'll recapture again and then I'll be using this volume fader okay all right so we select again the first part and then I will uh, capture again all right suppose I would like to trigger from full okay so it will capture with a velocity of 125 check this out all right okay stop you can see here it's a control number 48 with a value of 125 so that means a velocity full of 125 it reaches the velocity required to trigger this certain cue okay so next I will make a I will capture and I will put it in the middle part of the fader or volume fader okay and then you check out but first I will try first to bring this down to zero but of course since it's in a 125 mode or value if I touch this one this will trigger my song okay check this out all 
right stop okay it triggers now i will do a recapture uh, direct to the uh, your attention to the software and then i will put in the middle part okay so that means it will capture a different velocity with this um fader okay check this out capture and then i will put it in the middle okay let's say let's say here okay all right okay value of um, velocity now it's 82 and then if i'll put to zero and then i'll push a bit only without reaching the velocity of 82 check what will happen all right nothing happens because the reason it did not reach the value required which is 82 so i'll push up again in the middle part all right now it triggers my cue because it passed through the value of 82 now how can we resolve this one to avoid a uh, miss cue if ever you are firing a cue in a particular show all right so here's what another option that you have to do okay make sure you just put the value of zero so that if ever you touch this fader or move whichever part of the fader it will trigger your cue okay that's the safest way to do this one but in the case in the previous video from the first part of the video that i made this is value of 127 no need to change to zero once again because if i touch it uh, very soft or hard still it will trigger the cue okay all right but if you have a velocity range which is a wide velocity range okay you have to make sure you make it zero so that once again no matter what part of the um, fader you touch or you stop it will trigger your cue all right same goes uh, to your pads if ever it has a velocity range all you have to do is to make it zero so that if ever you hit very soft of course it will trigger all right so now i will put the value of zero but mind you you don't just put simply zero okay all right so now i put the value of zero check this out if this will uh, if the key will follow all right of course it won't follow if you just simply put the value of zero check this all right it won't play all right if i fully move the entire fader because it is recorded from the previous velocity it will play okay all right because it's zero so it will just recognize from the zero part of your fader look at this okay hold on see if it reaches only zero but the thing is it's not capturing other parts of your fader because we only just emphasize zero value okay so the technique check this out see it's not playing my tracks all right the technique is make sure you put this all right all right that means zero or greater than zero it will trigger your cue let's press enter okay check this out for sure in this part of my fader it will play okay so that means no matter uh, how hard or no matter how how you move your fader it will trigger because it captures uh, zero or greater than zero values okay check this all right i stop now clearly it recognize any commands from the any or which part of your faders make sure you put this um, value onto your um, velocity all right so i hope this video helped you and explained about the velocity in qlab and since the old video is just a barely a tutorial on how to midi trigger your qlab using any midi hardware okay so once again if you uh, you have not watched that video i'll be posting a link down in the description so that you can check that old video that i mean okay so once again i hope that this video covers uh the midi mapping and then at the same time the velocity uh in midi so if you think that this video is helpful uh, just make sure you hit subscribe down there and hit like if you like this video all right once again this is your tech 
guide. My name is Chan saying thank you and bye for now. Ride till I can't no more. I got the horses in the back. Horse stock is a